Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on our channel where the solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at different ways of um, selection and subsequently um, attribute query in um, RGIS Pro, right? Um, we have a data here. Let's open up the attribute table to see the fields we have in our data set, right? Now, we have about um, 9,896 fields um, in this um, data set. And then um, you can see names and then the feature classes and then the codes and USM ID alongside the shapes, right? Good. Now, when you right click and then you come down to selection, you can see different options with the zoom to select, pan to select and all the rest of that. However, we can also see what the selection tab here, where we can click on this select and then use this drop down to select by different options, right? Good. So we can either select by rectangle, polygon, lasso, circle. Let's say, let's start with the rectangle. So, you now see that we have quite a good number of um, features selected, right? Good. Now, from this selection, we can zoom to the selection, right? Good. Or we just come to right click on the layer then we come back to selection and then we can just say zoom to selection. So we only have what the attributes that are selected being displayed, right? Good. So we have about 505 of them out of over 9,000, right? Good. So that's one option. We can actually deselect all the currently selected features. You now see that we are back to zero. Remember, we are using different options to select, right? Good. So you can use the polygon, lasso, circle, and all the rest of that. Coming back to the selection from the um, options from the layer, you can see if you want to select all or maybe select visible features, right? Good. Now, this allows you to select features in this layer that are currently within the view, which means as we have quite a large number of data sets, it allows us to select what we can see currently on our screen, right? Good. So that's about them. Um, um, 551 out of course we just um, use the polygon the view is a polygon yeah we use the rectangle recently to just select what that portion right so now, these are different methods of selecting now you can click on this and uh, select by attributes this allows you to maybe build a little expression more like um, a query to your database right but now you have what the expression builder or maybe where you can add more clauses right good to build your expression. Now, the input rule um, specifies, let's look at this, um, the data to which the selection will be applied, right? So it specified your input data, the data to which the selection will be what will be applied. Now the selection type specifies how the selection will be applied and what to do if a selection already exists, right? But now we have a drop down here is it a new selection? Is it adding to a current selection? Is it removing from selection and all the rest of that, right? Now, you can also clear the current um, selection. So this is where you now build what your expression and SQL expression used to select a subset of what of the record, right? So now let's look at a few things. We are going to deselect all we have selected. Let me put this out. Then zoom to layer right good so the first thing we are going to do now we are going to select we are going to click on this select by attributes right now it opens up what the expression builder for us to write um, a few expressions that would interact with our attribute table so from our attribute table we can see that um, we have um, the f class and then the name, right? But now, under the F class, we have different inputs from the school, fountain, park, university, sports center, swimming pool, track, banks, library, and all the rest of that. So we are going to see how to impute that in our um, in our query. So the first thing is that where the official class is equal to right. Let's say banks. So we are trying to say 
if you select from the table we have where the fisher class is equal to bands right now you can see that we still have zero selected out of over nine thousand when we apply you can see we have about 266 words features that are actually bands right good so we can zoom to the selection and we, we keep on zooming we can see the features if we want to right good so let's still come back to the select by expression remember we just um, we just use that expression we can still change it to what sql this sql is like the default query builder that maybe we have been using right good where you can impute your expression manually so we can still modify it where the f class is equal to bank or now you can see as you're trying to type there are options for you to select i want to add to our expression right good so i can still go and say where f class is equal to then it's always in quote let's say schools right you see this um, tick, green tick, allows you to um, verify if your expression is valid, right? Good. So if you click on it, you can see a message that the SQL expression is valid. However, if it is not valid, let's say we just um, add something else here. And we click on it, you can see what the SQL expression is um, as in valid syntax, right? Good. So this shows that um, you need to check what your expression for it to be valid so we have what the sql expression is valid so we have changed it from this window where we add um, let's say we add the option to add clause to sql where we can just type in what the where we can type in the clause as we want so we can just apply and you see we have over 1000 it was around um, 200 and something now it's over 1000 because uh, more fields have been added to what to our selection right good so if you also look at them uh, if you look at the map canvas you can see more selections right it's not this is a very simple and uh, intuitive way on how to um, query or how to use them um, selections on them um, on agis pro right good so we have shown you different options right from the the layer in the content panel and then you coming down to selection and then you'll be seeing the different options on how to make your selection right now attributable showing selection remember we have selected about um we have selected banks and schools right so if we click on attribute table showing selection we are only going to see on that attribute table banks and schools right good which has now bad or removed every other field from what the attributes table right good and you can also see the official id it's no longer going um, chronologically from zero one two because when we are imputed in the attributes table they we are not arranged okay schools following schools right it's not these are some stuff you can actually do show all records here yeah? then show selected records so let's go back to show all records you can now see that um, the first one is school the second one is fountain yeah we always start with zero second one is fountain the third one is park and okay parks follow each other now you can also save an expression which you would load later right good so if you have written quite a long expression or a short one as we have done on today's tutorial you can save it for official use, right? So now let's save this expression. Okay, so we have um, navigated to the location on the PC where we want to save it. So let's just call this word expression, right? Good. Expression underscore SS. And then you can see the file type query expression, right? That's an um, EXP. You can save that. Now that expression has been saved and it can be shared with anybody you can also load that expression right okay for us to see if it's loaded let's remove and then let's load right so we are back at it 
you now see that it has been loaded so we can move it back to sql or we leave it as it is so you can explore and exploit um, some other options that um, we have on um, agile pro on how to select your maybe select features from your database or maybe from your attributes to like the case maybe we are going to see you on the subsequent tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye